All right, good evening, everyone. It is Mr. Sunshine, Rolls-Royce technician, Eddie, uh, coming to you live. And what we're going to do here, uh, while I'm already on a roll, I already got the tools out here, we're going to go ahead and dismantle this because it's going, as you can see, it is a mess. Uh, I already started to take the uh, screws out, but I figured I might as well do a video uh, so that the uh, owner of this vehicle that I've done all of the hydraulics for uh, will be able to see it on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get ourselves started. What we have here is a control valve. This is the height controller. There's two of them on each of the Rolls Royces, uh, one on each trailing arm. Uh, and uh, this is the measurement as it'll go up and down to raise and lower the automobile accordingly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start peeling it apart. Uh, we used the uh, tubing wrenches to go ahead and pull the uh, off of here. This one is seized up. So we're gonna have to address that. We'll have to get this loosened up here, freed up so that we can get this screwed and back together. You can see how it flared itself in over the last 50 years. Uh, and this is the uh, valves here that go to the rest of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. We went ahead and took this one off. Uh, this one here just basically screwed right out. This one was okay, but the other one was seized. So there it is, you can see that right there. Uh, Sean Collison, good evening, Mr. Sunshine. Coming to you live in a beautiful Friday night. Uh, I am not at Taboo. I am not out partying tonight. I'm not at the Ben penthouse pool party tonight uh we're here trying to get this job done so uh we're going to continue we took the two valves off of here these are the two wire hoses we then went ahead we're going to loosen this up this gets taken off with a 7 16 inch wrench uh it's you can see it's all rusted now this is all going to get uh glass beaded sandblasted and polished uh, so you can see that. That's the screws for that. We're going to go ahead and this comes right off. Now, I've already taken pictures of this. So uh, we will know when we go to put it back on that it's going to go vertical just like that. Okay, so when we put it back on, this is going to stand um, vert uh, horizontal or vertical. And then this will go on just like that. So we'll set that aside. Uh, we then go ahead and uh, we loosened up. These nuts here, these nuts are 7 16 We're going to go ahead and loosen those up so we can get those off of here as such. Now these are, this this particular model is off of a 1972 Rolls-Royce uh, Corniche convertible. So you're looking at about 50 years old uh, on this particular model. So we're going to go ahead and gently flip it over. We'll go ahead and loosen these. And this one, you can see we have another snap ring here. C-clip, I should say. Or we'll go ahead and loosen this up. Now, it's under, it's under uh, pressure in there, so as we loosen this, we want to make sure when we pick it apart, we can see what's going on. I can see a heavy-duty spring in there. Uh, these we're going to loosen up. These here will come off of with a, uh, what was that, 7-8. Um, those are 7 8 bolts right there. I loosened those up. These are the bolts, I do believe, that hold the pressure. So we're going to go ahead and relieve some of the pressure on that. These are going to get pushed aside. So by taking this apart gently, and along with the video, if there's any question, just like that. Okay, so you can see uh, we already have an O-ring. That, that comes in the kit. We're going to be rebuilding that. Uh, this is all going to get glass beaded. This is going to actually look brand new. Uh, that's the top one. We're going to go ahead and unscrew the lower one. There you go. You can see that. It's got the plastic nylon on the bottom. So you see that with the, with the, uh, with the uh, shaft up on the top. The lower one had that. Here's a spring. So we're going to go ahead. That spring actually fits right into there. You see that? So we're going to put that there. This one 
has a bigger spring. This spring here is going to go right here. You can see how that fits on there just like that. So uh, we got that taken apart. Now what we can do is gently finish taking the last nut off of here. It's still spring loaded. So you want to make sure this was the snap ring that we took off on this end. This actually uh, was right there in there. So we're going to go ahead and put that over there. And then we can go ahead and get this stripped apart. This one here, we loosen this one up again with the big wrench. This one has a lot of washers on it. We're going to continue holding pressure so it doesn't fly out so that we know exactly. Here we go. Here's another one. This is another one on the bottom. All right. No spring in there. You see that? So you have the same style, but no spring in this one. All right. It's only on the left side. So we're going to go ahead. Now we can go ahead and take that snut off. Now, I've been working on Rolls Royce. I've had nine Rolls Royces over the years, and uh, they're, they're labors of love. you got to remember, this thing's been on there for 50 years, and it's finally just now getting rebuilt. All right, so we're going to go ahead and gently, gently separate the two halves. You can see that right there. There's your uh, piece in there. This is the cam that drives that unit. Right here, we're going to go ahead and pull this out of here. You have two pistons in here. Look at this. Here's your piston. This is the piston right here. Look at that. That's what causes your pressure. That's going right here on this side because that's coming off of this side of the uh, side. We're going to move these screws out of the way because we like to put this, take this apart because I'm going to actually... Uh, I'm actually doing the video, but we're actually doing it for YouTube as well. So this will go here. You got a big O-ring. There's an O-ring that goes here. And then you have your other piston that's going to come out from this side. Okay, so we have a piston right here. We're actually going to push that through. There's your piston right up in there. And we'll go ahead and gently take that out. There's your piston. There's your piece. There's how it is. And there you have it. Completely dismantled. There's nothing left in there. See that? There it is. That's a simple piston. Uh, that pumps your pressure, your valve that takes it, and then as you adjust, as you adjust it, let's get that separated a little further. And then, as you adjust the controller from here, this turns, and then it it lets more and more more or less pressure through there. So there you have it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that snap ring off. Let's pull that snap ring done out of there. Corroded in there pretty good. There we go. Two of the same snap rings. Look at that. Identical snap rings. So we're, we're, we know that they're going to be the same. Those can go into our pit there. And then we can go ahead and pull this apart. And we have to be careful. Oh, we got one on this side. See the one over here? go that's the same as the other one there so we got those taken apart and now we'll have to get this because this is on a this is uh, just sitting here look at this this is spinning
All right, there you go. There's your O-ring on that side. Right inside, there's your sleeve. You have a sleeve in there. And that won't come out until we pull this pin out of here. This is our shit, and this is corroded in there. So we're going to need to get a screwdriver in order to turn that so that we can get that thing turned so we can slide it out. So there it is right there. So let me go get a screwdriver. Got to wipe my hands. Oh. All right, so we're going to go ahead and with a screwdriver, we're going to go ahead and turn it. We're, I, I always like to go clockwise so that we know how it's going to come out. And then there it is. It, 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 it went to the bottom. So now we're able to slide that out. There you go. So we have it just like that. And then we can, we're going to see that from here. That piston is down on the bottom. You see that? And when we turn it clockwise again, well, we're going to go back to counterclockwise. Back up. You see how that went back up there? There it is. So when you go clockwise down, you're able to remove it, and then you can slide it right out of the system right here. So there it is right here. We're going to actually pull that out. As such, there you go. So there you go. Uh, we have, uh, this is all going to get cleaned up here. There's no bushing there. There's O-rings here. There's an O-ring here. You see that? So this is all going to get slid right back together when we're ready to put it all back together. And uh, But in the meantime, this is all going to get cleaned. And we'll have to wait for the uh, gasket kit in order to rebuild this along with the plastic uh, spacers. And we will have this height controller back together and ready to go. It's going to look brand new when we're done uh, with it, whenever the parts come in, which may be today or tomorrow. So there you have it, Mr. Sunshine. Height controller from a Rolls Royce. You're probably never going to see that again uh, because nobody's taken 50-year-old Rolls Royce parts, especially the brake controller that's up underneath, or the height control up underneath the car, uh, on each side of the trailing arms. So there you have it, Mr. Sunshine, Rolls-Royce Technician Eddie, coming to you live right here, right now, in sunny South Florida. Thank you for watching.